Hello everyone, I'm drawing Floyd Dragon and welcome back to Vox Adventures. Uh, recording a bit later than I expected to, but um that's just how the cookie crumbles. Is my voice coming in? Is my voice coming in? Yeah, I tested this yesterday. Why am I yesterday evening, why am I getting so uh why am I moving so... Yo. It was supposed to be just 20 minutes in the morning, but uh... I don't know, My, uh, the Minecraft launcher was taking a while to load, so... 30 minutes in the afternoon. So what can I talk about? Um, continuing with my uh, watching what I got for Chris, uh, the movies I got for Christmas. So I watched uh, The Invisible Man. Uh, quite good actually. That's the new one. All things considered, uh, despite the plot being thrown out the window, it was not bad. Okay, good. USB audio device. Good, good, good. Hey, you. Uh, after that, I watched uh, Bird of Paradise, the following Bird of Paradise, oh jeez, following Bird of Paradise, I watched uh, The Most Dangerous Game, both excellent movies, but I like The Most Dangerous Game better. And then uh, I finished up the evening with uh, Jumanji in the next level. All I have to do is get a... Is uh, get... What is it? Welcome to the Jungle, Into the Jungle, whichever it is, I have to get that. I mean, I've seen it on Netflix, but... Uh, good to actually have a physical copy in case it's ever off of a streaming service. Taken off a streaming service, you, you know what I mean. And yeah, I uh, watched Toy Story in that time for God early this morning. Um, in the in the mail, the White Hunter Black Heart came in, so I'll be watching that after. It was a late late Christmas present. Uh, I'm thankful that my mom got it, but I really wish it was the check uh, for my job, so I can just get that equipment and use whatever snuffed over to well you know pay off stuff
Is it me or is uh the daytime got in uh, longer or something? slow on the AFK bit. So if you're wondering what I'm doing out here, um, if you didn't uh, watch the previous episode and uh, then crank your headphones up to phone, phone volume well I'm on a mission to the edges of the world and I'm going to plant a sign on each of them with the zombie mode's name Longbow. What are you gonna do? Shovel me to death? So, um, the most dangerous game, it's uh, based off of a short story and was actually being filmed alongside King Kong. Uh, with many of the sets being, of the jungle sets being reused, so. Uh, one would be shot during the day, the other one would be shot during the night. 
and uh, they both had David. Uh, um, Sourznik? No. Ernest B. Schultzak and Marion C. Cooper working on them. And even had two of the same uh, cast members. Well, actually, three. Uh, we had Robert Armstrong in both of them. Uh, his character dies in the most dangerous game. In contrast to King Kong, where Carl Denham obviously lives. Uh, Fei Wei plays the female lead in both films. So it's really her that went through the ringer. Because yeah, Robert Armstrong's character dies and when you get to Noble Johnson, um look at his two characters. You have uh the Kozak Ivan in the most dangerous game, which he played in white face because well he was black. And he had the native chief in King Kong as a role. Yeah, but uh, the native chief is only in a few scenes in King Kong, uh, while Ivan, well, yes, he doesn't speak, uh, doing uh, due to being uh, dumb. Uh, due to being Zeroth's henchman, he's actually. Uh, present for a lot more of the of the story. But I suppose it's uh, what you think counts as a better role. Uh, getting to speak, having a few scenes and ultimately surviving uh, uh, surviving from a film or being in a number of scenes, having no lines or dying. Uh, my favorite character in the film is actually uh, Zaroff himself, played by Leslie Banks. And he gives an excellent performance. Uh, Yesterday I talked about how the antagonist of the... Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, how the antagonist of a film is usually portrayed by a more talented actor than the protagonist. And you know, that's no exception with the most dangerous game where... Uh, 
Leslie Banks actually towers above the entire cast. Get to the point. In some twisted way, you actually want him to win because he's a more. Uh, he brings. Well, just more to the character than the other actors are bringing to theirs. But you accidentally have to stop and realize what you're thinking. This is a guy who hunts anyone shipwrecked on his island and wants to turn the female lead into a sex slave. Yeah, you you really, really have to stop and think about what you are thinking. But that's kind of the charm of some actors. They're so good, you ultimately find out questioning why you like the characters so much, why you're rooting for them. Yes, Alex. And compared to uh, a lot of other horror movies of the time, uh, the most dangerous game just really has a better villain. Uh, and it's all because of Leslie Banks. Yeah, he was better than Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney Jr. who actually wouldn't emerge as a horror actor, hero or villain until the 40s, but still. And at the end of the day it's not something about vampires, uh, whatever you call it, you call Frankenstein's creation or a mummy coming back to life. It's just about some guy uh, hunting people to get shipwrecked on this island for fun. The scary thing is that it could happen. You know, there's an episode of Jumanji, uh, the animated series, where, the, where Peter's class is reading the most dangerous game, and the teacher doesn't refer to the protagonist and antagonist as their names, uh, Rainsford and Zaroff. No, no, just refers to them as the protagonist and the antagonist. You know what I think happened? I think whoever the writer was from that episode um, only remembered having to read that story in school and did not remember the names of the two characters. Didn't remember the name of Rainsford, didn't remember the name of Zaroff. And of course that's exactly what happens. Not like you could, they, they couldn't have just gone out and track back down the story to find out the characters' names. My computer sucks.
it's shorter just to say leg, just to have leg. No, Alex, not that I don't enjoy having you laying on my arm. But I really, really need you to get off my arm. Uh, my mom's worried about uh, the DVD for White Hunter Blackheart on the ground, not as it grounds that it's an import, but here's the fact. It came from Illinois and Canada and the United States are both Region 1 countries. The only thing I'd be worried about is if the disc had been loose. Were the discs loose for Fall of the Roman Empire? Yes, they were. Was it an import? Yes. Did it play perfectly? Yes. Yes, it did. No wrong region, no disc damage. Everything was fine. The only reason I have to worry is if it's both from a different region and if the discs have been loose. Okay, you. Well, it's not as long as yesterday's, and it's certainly longer than today's was intended to be, but still. We made some ground. That's all for today, everyone. I'm drawing Troy Dragon signing out. Stay straight.